Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we've got the first of a four-part series looking at a very special set of products. These I've actually never opened before. These are different power packs across the different Halo games and I acquired these so long ago it's actually hilarious it's taken me this long to unbox them and you can see just how long I've had them. They've made the journey from England to Hong Kong and then Hong Kong to America and it's just about time I finally get them open. Honestly, it's ridiculous that I've uh, had them for this long, but it's also been kind of a strategic thing. I've always thought to myself, I'm going to save these for a time in my life where I really need to just get easy reviews out. And you know what? That time has come. I cannot explain how completely chaotic my life is right now. So I'm going to unbox one of these each day for the next four days. And you know what? Just pretty much take the burden off my shoulders of making videos for just a few days because I, I don't know, guys. It's, it's a crazy time, but I'm still determined, at least for now, to get a daily upload every single day for the year. I'm gonna try my very best to keep that up, but honestly, life is just so crazy. So today, I thought I'd begin with the one at the start of this pile, the Active Camo Power Pack, because just look at that. I'm really excited to bust that Helio Skrill open. If we quickly look at the back here, we can also see these three in black are for the 10th anniversary of Halo. Actually, I believe this one doesn't have the 10th anniversary logo. I'm not sure why, but the EVA is without, or should I say? Well, it's a JFO and then EVA on the side. These two are definitely for the 10th anniversary. We've got to look at some of the others in the line as well. We do have this lovely Grenadier, and then a Halo 3 EOD, whatever black Spartan this is from Halo 5, and then the Vector. We've got that alongside this selection. There he is, or there she is, I'm not sure. The Vector with half AC, and then a similar selection of characters. Then we've got the Spartan Scout on the back here and we can see the Hermes Hammer Power Pack. I'm going to open that in a separate, well I've kind of got it unboxed already but it's just loose in a bag so I'll probably open it alongside one of these four at some point. And then we've got this lovely orange active camo and you can even see, oh there's even some blue tack on the back of this. These uh, sets have served so many purposes including being used to uh, you know have displays at the back of other videos. I've used this as the backdrop for other videos that's why it's got blue tack on it. So let's Let's um, finally free this Helio Skrill from its packaging. It's been long enough. Really lovely display here. And yeah, this is for the active camo. I've always said Mega Constructs needs to do more with multiplayer game, you know, locations and equipment and maps, anything like that. Look at that. It's the domain. A basic instruction manual. I don't think we're going to need it to build this one. But here's the Helio Skrill. Also, I hope you enjoy this beautiful cinematic mode on the iPhone 13. I'm going to be buying my own one very soon, but this is Peggy's for now. We're also at Peggy's house, and I apologize if you can hear the, what do you call it, the central heating of this house? It's like big vents that blow under the floorboards, and it's quite loud. Here is the Helio Skrill. Look at that. Beautiful. That gold visor is a really nice paint job. I'm a big, big fan of that. And then the black undersuit. So this transitioning AC is a really interesting thing. Transitioning AC has always been like a favorite thing for fans to do before Mega Constructs did it, right? Like I used to always get plain figures and then get the base suit from that and put some of my AC armor on top. And you could always have it like it's almost transitioning in or out of AC or in or out of any armor ability. As we can see from this, this is for the power mode. I mean, you can have picked up anything. Now, Mega Constructs, they've taken, honestly, I actually think this is one of the examples where Mega Constructs took an idea from the community and made it because a lot of people have been doing that in the past. Wow, I've just noticed on this cinematic mode, if you double tap it, it will just track the character. Mega Constructs have taken it one step further by adding a painted visor, which you know, I mean, why would you complain about that? That is such a great feature. We haven't seen this like, half AC that much after this, but we have just seen it return in the new Halo Universe Series 1 blind bag. So maybe Mega Constructs has future plans with this sort of element, this way of presenting a figure. The Helio Skrill I know is also one of, uh, probably one of the fans' favorite things to come out of Halo 5 Guardians. I know there were a lot of things that we didn't like in Halo 5 Guardians, but the Helio Skrill was such a badass idea. The UNSC and Sangheili coming together and reverse engineering armor, like 
working on Spartan cores together. When the war was raging on, I'm sure humanity would have never imagined making Spartan armor with the Sangheili. Three beautiful painted weapons. And this is why these packs are such good value for money to stockpile painted weapons. Because painted weapons only really come in Halo Heroes and the very, very occasional other set, but it's mainly just Halo Heroes. So it's great, really great to get an affordable, actually a very cheap set. These were, I think they retailed for about eight or nine dollars and they would come with three painted weapons and a figure and some also painted accessories as well. So this is the Pool of Radiance Fuel Rod Gun. Yeah, they say Fuel Rod Cannon on the packaging. I mean, I mean, sure. Yeah, Fuel Rod Cannon. The Pool of Radiance. Halo 5 Guardians. You know, I hope in a, sort of a look back, people will start to respect Halo 5 Guardians a bit more. Like, yeah, it had a shocking campaign. I really didn't like that. But they still did quite a lot of cool things. Like, they introduced weapon variants. And the amount of weapons in Halo 5 Guardians is pretty exceptional. So we've got the Pool of Radiance. You'd think from the surface of it, just white details. But you can definitely see some yellow highlights as well running around. Especially those four little lines at the front are very detailed. Then we've also got the Fade Magnum. This is just a skin. This is not a weapon variant by any way. But still, the Fade Magnum them. Greens and blacks, and I like how they've chosen two that match each other here. And then we've got what's definitely going to be my favorite from this set, the Gold Standard SMG. The Gold Standard weapons were my favorite. Let's see if the iPhone even wants to focus on it. There we go. The Gold Standard SMG. Yeah, I really do enjoy the Gold Standard weapons in Halo 5 Guardians. I was always very happy when I got one. They just look so good. And that's why I wanted the Rockstar Energy Drink, Assault Rifle, Razorback, Warthog. Like, they're pretty much the Gold Standard standard uh, variants, right? So we have the bayonet that I just attached and we also have a sight for this thing. So if we slide that on, that is a fully kitted out SMG. And Halo 5 Guardians also had really good weapon customization with the different sights. I don't know, man. Let's open the conversation about what Halo 5 Guardians did well. Should we give him the SMG? I kind of feel like I want to go by the packaging and give him the pool of radiance. But you kind of want it like holstered over his back, but these ones, they don't really accommodate for that. I don't know if they're not the best designed. I don't know if it's this Helio scroll armor being huge. It kind of just slightly hovers on his shoulder, which is not the most amazing. Then if we open up this power pack, we can attach these little clips inside and that will hold our weapons perfectly. And it's also great, you know, because weapons can get lost. Unless you've got good organization, they can just like you know, just disappear pretty much. So it's nice to have an actual display for your weapons. It's nice to have a place to keep them. Have that bayonet. This is exactly how the back of the packaging would recommend I do it. And there's our magnet. Very nice. What a nice duo. And yes, the bayonet I don't think would be on technically if it was in the locker. I think it's hard light, so it would probably have disappeared um, when you're not using it. And then the final feature is the little active camo emblem. I didn't actually realize you got this in the set until I just saw it. That's really nice, actually. Hell yeah. So we'll attach that just at the bottom there. The packaging doesn't actually show you attaching it, but I like that. That's a fully kitted out little accessory pack, and I have a lot of respect for it. We can clip the front on here. Nice. And this is also nothing to be scoffed at. This is a great printed detail on a translucent piece, a slightly transparent, uh, maybe it's just reflecting the light. I think it's probably still translucent. Looks a little more blue. And this has a great little hole to just attach that into and you can have it coming in or out as much as you want. I'll pop it in properly. That's fantastic, eh? That's like really, really nice. That is our active camo power pack. Great run for your money, if you ask me. A lot of really good printed details three, count them, three weapons, including a bayonet and a sight. Like, it's not just a walk in the park here. This slides on very comfortably there. And we've even got a printed active camo piece. This is just a great representation of the multiplayer and we need more representations like this in the future. Mega Constructs, they just love making vehicles. They don't like making diorama pieces. You remember Assault on High Ground, man? Like we need more sets like that. So Mega, you hear my pleas all the time. Make more multiplayer references in your sets, you know? I, I really wanna see more. They have been been doing the new micro helmets, which are nods to multiplayer game mode, so I respect that, but let's take it up a notch. Let's do it even more. So this is set one, the active camo power pack of four. In the future, we're going to open the Vector tactical power pack, the Spartan Grenadier armor pack, 
and the Spartan JFO armor pack. I'm particularly excited to see these little lockers. They look really nice and all this Halo Reach arm. I also really want to obtain that EOD. Halo 3 is my life. But yeah, thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. This was another video with the domain. Like I said in the comments down below, uh, it's a very difficult, very crazy time in my life right now. And I would love your support and patience on my videos. And if you just see one, just give it a click, just give it a view, just give it a like and a favorite, you know, um, it will just help keep me going because um, I got to make it through this month. Also, really excited to be hosting the Toymation competition at the end of this month. The entries so far are outrageous and also really excited to hit 40k subs in the next couple of days. So you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And the Helio Skrill with a pool of radiance is signing off. Thank you.